Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. It's Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your general reading secret message for April 2019. So we'll see what we get for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're returning, thank you. If you're a new viewer, thank you for stopping by. And if you like how I read, uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment. I do love to read the comments and I hope this resonates for you in some way. It may or may not resonate with every Aries out there, so please keep that in mind. And this could, if it's not about you, you may find it could be about somebody around you. So please keep that in mind. And we could pick up on past, present, or future energies. Um, check the description box below for the decks I'm using and for personal reading information. And my PayPal link is there if you choose to tip or donate to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. No amount is too small. So if you do, thank you, thank you. Um, if this doesn't resonate for you, you can check other signs in your chart and you can browse my playlist and find other signs. You can also check the description box for other Aries and fire sign readings I have done in the past and they may resonate for you. So I would say disregard the date on them. If the title um, resonates for you, I would say watch it. There may, be a there may be a message in there for you. Um, so I think we'll just get started here. I do consider all my readings timeless, even though I do put what month they are done. Um, so all the decks have been pre-shuffled, uh, pre-cut off camera, but I will shuffle them on camera to bring fresh energy in. So please be patient with the shuffling. And only take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. So please don't get confused with all the signs. Um, take what signs resonate and just ignore the other signs I may mention. So with this deck here, it is a uh, Zodiac deck. Oh, and that one wanted to fly out. So that may be moon energy. Hmm. Maybe a message for somebody. But uh, So if you're not resonating with whatever is pulled here, then I would say just just, just disregard that and uh, view the rest of the reading as it may resonate for you. So with this deck spirit, please, can we get one card for Aries? What sign, element, or planet energy could be affecting them? Oh, Jupiter. Jupiter energy, which is the energy of Sagittarius. Jupiter energy, which has a lot to do with um, passion, um, optimism, faith, spirituality, joy. I thought it was about passion. No, it's not. That's another planet. Um, luck and expansion, prosper. Prosperity, joy, optimism, faith, spirituality. So it's all about faith, joy, spirituality, prosperity. So we'll see how that plays into you and in into your reading. So if you're not dealing with the Sag, that's okay. Just disregard that sign. So with this deck here, we will get your secret message for the month of April. What does Aries need to know for the month of April 2019, Spirit, please, for the general reading for the month of April 2019 for Aries? What is their secret message? What does Aries need to, Aries need to know for the month of April 2019, Spirit, please? Can we have one card for Aries? One card for Aries. Whoop. Nope, oh, we got three. That's too many. One card for Aries. One card for Aries for the month of April. I think I'm just going to take that one. We'll go over the bottom of the deck at the end for extra guidance for you guys. Visualization. Hmm. So you guys may be trying to manifest something. Visualizing what you want in your life what you want to bring into your life, where do you want to go, what do you want to do. So you're visualizing something, a dream, an idea. Hmm. So we'll see 
What are you visualizing, Aries? Hmm. So this is the animal tarot. So we will clarify your message. And I think you're staying, staying optimistic, having faith and hope with the Jupiter energy and with whatever you're trying to visualize, bring into your life, trying to manifest into your life. Hmm. Let's see. We shall see. This is the animal tarot. It's sort of like a tarot sap slash oracle, but I do use it as a tarot deck. So let's clarify. I got to shuffle this way for Aries. What is this visualization about for Aries? Wow. Okay, we got one already. Prince of Spring. Passionate, charismatic, charismatic, if I can speak, confident, restless. An opportunity arises that needs your attention right away. Moving quickly is important, yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. Prince of Spring. So this is the Prince of Wands. So this is taking action. This is moving forward. Um, something you're passionate about, you're confident about. You feel restless about. I feel like something that needs your attention right away, but you can handle it with a lot of strength and courage and charisma. Huh, let's, let's see. So what needs your attention? Queen of Autumn, thoughtful, caring, creative, ingenious. You will be given advice that's both practical and creative, and it should be followed precisely. Focus only upon the positive in every situation or person. This is the Queen of uh, Pentacles. So this is someone who's very strong and stable and grounded, who's secure, who's um, abundant and prosperous, who's smart and analytical, is very wise, practical, creative. So let's see, let's get the first line here and see what's going on. Five of Summer, Dragonfly, focus upon the fact that God loves you and always has the highest of intentions for you. A positive outlook makes it easier to recover from life, life's little difficulties so that you can move onward and upward. So the Five of Summer talks about um, a little bit of sadness and sorrow, a little bit of heartbreak, May, been, may have been an emotional loss of some kind or something that has affected you, a loss of some kind or something that just makes you feel a little sad. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. The Nine of Summer, Pomer Pomeranian Dog. Now's the time when your dreams come true, don't worry about how this will happen. Just give gratitude to God for all that you have and all that still yet to come. So this is a nine of uh, cups. So this is wish fulfillment, happiness and joy. So, I mean, there's been a little bit of sadness, but then your wish comes true. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Prince of Summer now. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, enchanting. Frog, a deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind encounters, so stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and intellect. So, I mean, this is a general reading, but this is the Prince of Cups. So, so you have fire here, which is your energy with the Prince of Spring. And then the Queen of Autumn is Pentacles, so that's um, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. And all the cups here are water, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So it looks like you moved swiftly into something you were passionate about. Maybe you had financial success and gain right away. But then something happened and there was a little bit of lack. 
wish come true. So whatever this was for you, I feel like it was a wish come true. So you have two princes here, the spring of summer. So I feel like you were moving forward into something you were very passionate about. You loved it. You loved what you're doing. Um, it could be career. It could be a project. It could be, it could be anything that you loved and you were very passionate about. You had some success right away. You saw some pentacles right away, or you just had some happiness and success and stability right away. And you're like, wow, this is a wish come true. But then something happened here and there's a little bit of sadness and loss. So I don't know what the sadness and loss was, but, and I think this is something you visualized that you wanted into your life. Whether, like I said, it's a career opportunity, it's a project, it's um, an adventure, you know, something you really wanted to do um, in life that was well suited for you, you were passionate about it, you had a lot of love for it, you loved something you love, absolutely loved doing, and it made you feel so enriched, enriching. A lot of growth and expansion, maybe, you know, some abundance right away. And then you get a little bit of emotional hurt there in the middle of it. So what is that about? What is that about for Aries? The chariot. He has cancer energy, Arabian horse. You can successfully balance various or opposing energies at once through determination and focus. You've earned the rewards and recognition you're receiving. So it's definitely taking action here with the chariot. That's positive movement forward. That's um, balancing out your energy, being very um, determined to achieve what you're trying to accomplish and being successful. You know, moving forward, a lot of drive and passion as it's right under the Prince of Spring, which is about taking that passionate action forward. And now you have it again here with the chariot confirming that. Okay, so what else do we have? The Ace of Spring, White Tiger. A wonderful new opportunity presents itself. It may have come as a surprise, but you'll still want to leap into action and passionately pursue every possibility. So this is a brand new beginning that's uh, very passionate, exciting, it's creative. And that's right under the Queen of Autumn. So I f do feel like you jumped into something really quick and fast and you were passionate about it. You had a great love for it. And you had success like immediately because you have the Queen of Pentacles here. But I don't know what this Five of Summer is about. So let's see what that's about here. Ten of Autumn, Golden Retriever Dog. Contentment comes from knowing that your finances are secure and your family's material needs are taken care of. It's important to honor traditions and have pride in your heritage and the accomplishments of your ancestors. So this is the 10 of pentacles. So this is total fulfillment of abundance and prosperity, happy home and family. Um, it all coming together, being very enriching. There's a lot of growth and expansion. And it's right under the five of summer though, so hmm. Huh. Okay, so let's get a few more to see. Now we have the two of autumn. Abyssinian cat, you may you may be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage. It's important to balance your work and personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all all you do is the two of pentacles. So this is juggling around too much, trying to balance things out, um, juggling person, places, or things, maybe a couple jobs, people. So maybe, uh, I don't know, the message I'm kind of getting is you were working, I think you were working a lot, like maybe even working two jobs or just doing, putting in a lot of hours in your career and just I mean, you love what you're doing and you're passionate about it. It was a brand new beginning for you. So maybe this was a new career opportunity. You wanted to really prove yourself. 
So you were working hard, you're working diligently, you're in, you know, enjoying it, loving it, you're passionate about it. But I feel like it was just too much to balance. And I feel like maybe with the five of summer here, under the ten of autumn, above the ten of autumn, this is your home and family. The stability of your home and family, I feel like maybe with the five of summer here, they started to feel neglected and sad that you were working so much. You know, this what you're doing is a wish come true, but there's a need here to balance out the energies, to have equal time between your career and your family. It feels kind of out of balance. So let's see, what do we have here now? The Three of Autumn, Miniature Dog, Poodle Dog. Did I say Miniature Dog, Poodle Dog? <laughs> miniature Poodle Dog. <laughs> The mo your most success, uh, satisfying and profitable career comes from following your passions. Wow. And <laughs> spirit confirming here is exactly what we're talking about here. Listening to your heart and doing what, you, what brings you joy. Your life purpose is best fulfilled by allowing your talents and true self to shine forth out into the world. Three of Autumn. So the Three of Autumn is about recognition. It's about working together, working hard. Um, getting that recognition that you deserve. So, you know, maybe, you know, you're, you, you were, you know, recognized for your hard work. But I still feel like there's a need here to maybe cut back a little bit because you have a lot of pentacle energy here. So there may be a need to balance out the energies between your career and your family life. Because you, your family feels neglected. That's what I'm getting here. Your family feels neglected. Maybe you're the breadwinner of the family. Maybe you, you're the one that makes the money. I mean, you could also be a single uh, person. Um, a single mother or father. Because we just have a queen here. And let's see. So whether or not you're single or not, or married, or have a spouse, I just feel like with the five over the ten, they feel a little left out, neglected, and hurt that you're gone so much. I feel like you are you work a lot. You put a lot of passion, drive, and energy, and love into your work, and your family is feeling it. They're, they're feeling out of balance. They're feeling a little neglected and hurt. And though you may get the recognition from your career I feel like you still need to balance out the energies here even though it's a wish come true for you you visualized it you brought it into your life it brings you happiness and joy here with the Jupiter energy but there's still a need to balance out the energies so let's see what's on the bottom of the tarot oh now we have the Prince of Winter Decisive, focus, driven, impulsive. Right, you're very, very uh, driven and focused on your career right now. Look how fast this horse is going. Just vroom. <laughs> Thoroughbred horse, get ready for prayers. Uh, progress to speed up. The situation requires you to choose logic and intellect over emotion. Make your decisions quickly. So I do feel like with this horse energy, still a lot of hard fast work spend a lot of time at work but there's a need here the prince of winter um logic intellect truth communication uh it's the prince of swords there's a need here to um take action and be truthful with yourself with your family you know the emperor right you may even own your own business or be a boss um a manager of some kind. Dare mouse, structure and organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer. So maybe this is something you were visualizing to be a higher upper manager or a CEO or the owner of your own business or company here. This is the boss like energy here with the emperor as a ruler. This is Aries energy. So this is your uh, energy, Aries. 
And the swords are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then we have Justice, Libra energy. Elephant, fair decisions will be made after all the evidence is reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others and try to see all sides of a disagreement. So your family may be saying, look, you need to spend more time at home. You know, we we deserve that justice. You need, deserve, you need to serve them that justice. Justice needs to be served and balancing out the energies evenly between your career and your family. That's the message I'm getting. Even if you are a boss or CEO, you know, you still need to um, listen to your family, listen to what they have to say. This is truth, truthful communication here. What did we have under that? Eight of Autumn, right? So, pentacles again. Uh, it's a perfect time to learn all you can by returning to school, taking a seminar, or conducting research. Do your best work, and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement. Right, so you advanced somehow when you career. You worked hard. This is about working hard, mastering your craft, working diligently. Um, again, with the pentacles and then the princess of spring there so i mean yeah it's all about career for you right now but there's a need to serve yourself justice your family justice by balancing out the energy you know even though you may play an important part of what you do in your career here you know listen to the truth of your family what they have to say with the communication here make decisions Okay, so let's see what is at the bottom of the deck for extra guidance. How are we doing on time? Okay, sexuality. Okay, well, maybe your spouse is really missing you. <laughs> uh, let's see what's under that. New opportunity, right? I definitely feel like this was a new opportunity for you that you visualized. You had this new beginning with the Ace of Spring. And you're working diligently, moving forward, trying to prove yourself. You've received the accolades and um, really working hard, making the money. But you're spending too much time and focus on your career. And you need to balance out the energy between your family and your career. Because I think your spouse misses you with sexuality here. Or you miss them. Okay, Aries. Uh, that was your message for April 2019. I hope it resonated in some way. Uh, for the signs, we have we have really all the signs here. But for the court cards, we have um, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. We have your energy here with Aries, Leo, Sag. And then we have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer here. And then we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries again, Libra. So, you know, just take what signs resonate for you and leave behind what doesn't. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Wishing you good luck on your decision here, whatever you choose to do. Best of luck to you, and I'm sending you... Many light, love, and blessings. Blessings, and always, always, like this big, bright, beautiful flower, shine your light.